I don't think it's going to go down like that. I just... Well, uh, all I know is... Agent Fisher. Agent Starling, Agent Smart. The mission is a go, and I have your assignments. Smart, you and your team will plant the explosives. You go in under the pretense of upgrading all the elevators in both buildings. Gotcha. Those are the two most secure buildings in the country. I mean, after the 93 attacks, they locked them down. Well, that's why we put Smart on the job. There's not a face in the entire CIA that says elevator repair quite like Smart's. This will be a cakewalk for him. And I'm securing the explosives? Right, but we can't use that fertilizer crap that Agent McVeigh used in Oklahoma. We're using thermite on this one. Super thermite, in fact. It burns much hotter. I've never heard of super thermite. Because it's super secret super thermite. Starling, you and your team will plant the explosives in both buildings exactly where the planes will hit. So we fly the remote control planes directly into the explosives? Yeah, and we'll rig them up just like we did with the buildings under the pretense of making repairs. Right. What if the passengers go into the cockpit and take over the planes? Your team will have already kidnapped the passengers and gassed them in a super secret location in Canada, remember? Right. Now here's the best part. We get a 35% discount if we buy super secret super thermite in bulk. Wow. That's almost a third off. Right. Now, as you know, we're also going to be hitting the Pentagon with a cruise missile. Isn't that going to give us away? How would Al-Qaeda get a cruise missile? Well, we've altered the missile to look like something very different. Um, isn't that just a picture of an airplane? Right. No, I, I think he means... This is a picture of an actual plane. And if two highly trained agents such as yourself can't tell the difference, we're home free. That's a really good point. That's why he's two pay grades above us. Three, actually. Now, to pull this whole thing off, we're going to need phone calls coming from inside those planes because there won't be any passengers on them. To help facilitate that, Agent Snowden at the NSA has set up a surveillance program that, as we speak, is gathering intimate details about every single person currently booked on those flights. How do we get these people to actually make those calls? Well, that's where this comes in. What is that? It's a prototype of our latest technology, the Voice Altering Global Intersectional Neologistic Assistant. It doesn't have an acronym? Let it go. What does it do? Give me your phone. Who are you calling? I'm calling your husband. Hey, babe. Hey, hon. I just wanted to let you know that I'm running a little late tonight. That's fine, because I'm just sitting... Oh, crap. Oh, I think I lost you. No, no. I'm still here. I, uh, I, th I think it's just my battery dying. <laughs> Why are you talking like Barney the Dinosaur? I am? Uh, oh, no. Uh... Tuttle! Well, <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's still a prototype. But they've assured me that uh, it'll be fully functional by the 11th. I hope so. And how do we keep the hundreds, if not thousands, of people involved from talking? Rookies. Is this what I think it is? Where did you get this? Yeah. I thought you'd be impressed. But how? I yeah, thought... we both thought these things were completely mythical. Well, now you're seeing one with your very own eyes. So, we really are in the clear. We have one of these for every single person involved in this project. Are you telling me that every single person involved in this project has signed a non-disclosure agreement exactly like this one? I am. And as you both know, not once in all of human history has an NDA ever been breached. Not ever, not once. Wow. So we good? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll be in contact. Sir, what if this time is the first? What if someone talks? Think about it, Starling. This is without a doubt the most complex conspiracy ever conceived, involving more people than anyone could possibly imagine. Who in their right minds would believe that something like this could be pulled off by the Bush administration? Brilliant. Genius, sir. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. You can't get fooled again.